Welcome to another Splatterhouse Kill-A-Thon. My guest today is Major JF. Hello. And this is the arena that we get by beating the game. Beating the game also unlocks this exclusive Xbox 360 mask. Here's the PlayStation exclusive, which I won't be able to wear, but that's what it looks like. And the 360 mask turns every arena into a red ring of death. Very uh, satirical in a game that is poorly developed on its own. <laughs> yeah. Hot calling the kettle black. And uh, we've got quite an arena today. This is actually my favorite of the bunch. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like very little downtime, a lot of action. You're almost constantly in danger, but it's never ridiculous like the end of the last few ones have been. Oh. Where, unless you happen to have the perfect, you left. Yeah, exactly. Those were just a roll to die. You could just die randomly in those ones. This one is at least fair. Fair and fun. You've got pretty much all the best moves in the game, so I can just go nuts. Let loose. Uh, let the dice roll. Why would they fall? <laughs> Ah, uh, mixing the metaphors already. Yeah. Off to a good start. Let the body sit the floor. That's gonna be one of the last secret missions I'm gonna get in this, because they're actually abnormally difficult to get here, but not very important, because there's a lot of weapons. Uh I was going to have a question, but uh, I'm going to let the, the it show up in the video ad anyway, so... Shoot, what do you got? Well, I was going... The question always comes up. Is... Did Jen's picture need extra editing this time or not? <laughs> it needed the same amount of editing as usual. Just to say, throw an album cover over it. <laughs> well, now that that's out of the way. <laughs> so look forward to that. This arena actually, uh, it takes place in the place that um, we go to at the end of the second to last mission of the game. Like the main game, Blood Eclipse. We sure. go into this building right at the end of it. And then it fades to black, and then we start the next level in the final area of the game. So this, what's happening now is theoretically canon to the actual storyline. It does remind me a little bit of uh, Splatterhouse 1's end levels. Hmm. Well, just because of that cross stuff and... Uh, it could have been a church type thing. Yeah, yeah, this but, is the uh, West Manor Chapel, so... It's rather church-like. Yeah. Blasphemous way. There's a very um, it, overt uh, Cthulhu statue in the back there. Yeah. Uh, aside from looking at your playthroughs of Splatterhouse, I actually hadn't heard of this game before. The uh, remake or the whole series? The whole series. I might have seen it once or twice, but I've never actually associated the name. Hmm. Yeah, I've talked to a few people like that who maybe have heard the name once or twice. It sounds familiar to them, but they didn't even realize it was like a game or whatever. Yeah, I, I more so recognize the Friday the 13th character than... Oh, yeah. And that's just because of how many satirical things about his face mask. Yeah. The shameless rip off of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this, um... Oops. Uh, the, some of the phases are not so fun because of these radioactive guys. They just take forever. Yeah, and you can't use most of your attacks on them. First piece of Jen's picture. Celebrate. Just once you get rid of the radioactive guys, it's a pretty good time, though. There's a floating head from the uh, Aegis for some reason. Yeah, it's like it got stuck on geometry or something. Yeah, this area is super glitchy because it's way, way, way too small for the number of enemies they throw in there. So 
stuff just goes nuts. People get crammed into weird corners that they're not supposed to be able to go into. And we're going to see a lot of that. It's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. It also looks like it's far too complex, also. Yeah, way too much scenery. There's a lot of slowdown in this one, usually. I didn't get too much of it in this run, but uh, normally, this thing chugs along at very low FPS. But what? Was this a DLC one or something? This is uh, it... from the main game. It, oh, wow. Okay. Presumably it was supposed to be actually part of the main game. Like there was a chapel fight. I think there was even a boss fight in here originally. But uh, it looks like they cut it because they couldn't get it to work 100%. Yeah. yeah. They still turned it into a pretty cool arena that I like quite a bit. I'm like the only yeah. person who likes the arena. So. Who knows? This might have been their first arena. Uh, it could be. This might be, yeah, but, where they got the idea for the arenas. They had a half-finished thing, and then they decided... Yeah. Well, Flush it out, why make waste it a uh, bonus content. And then they realized that it's way at the end, and you sort of need something leading up to it. Yep. <laughs> I appreciate it. The whole arena system plays to my tastes of killing stuff, having fun doing it. This phase is pretty annoying as well with these green guys, so I'm going to cheese it. I, I was going to make a Hulk uh, joke, but then I realized... Rick has already hawked out to begin with. Yeah, I've been trying to make a whole joke from the very beginning of the game. It just hasn't worked out. It's too easy. Yeah, and so him going into Berserk mode, has he double hawked out? <laughs> I think the actual Hulk has done that before. Double Hulk. Well, sort of. It's like he's technically in flux for how big he is. Yeah. So he's one of the more complicated hero guys. Well, the number of things he's gone through. Oh yeah. The number of changes. <laughs> Three actors in the last like five years. Oh, I, I wasn't even referring to that. It was just referring to the in the comics. Yeah. Just say nothing of that. But originally, uh, the Hulk was supposed to be sort of a Jekyll and Hyde hmm. uh, homage slash rip rip off. <laughs> so it's come a long way. Uh, yeah, and part of why he ended up being green is due to poor uh, quality control during one of the panels he actually became green tinted. And they liked it? And then they decided to keep it. He was originally <laughs> supposed to be grey. Nice. And so for most of the comic, he was grey. And suddenly he's grey. Yeah. And that's yeah. stuck. I do kind of like that when things work out accidentally to be iconic. Like the entirety of Jaws. Uh. Have you heard of the ridicul ridiculousness that was uh, Jaws 3D? Uh, I've seen the famous gif of the shark like floating through the glass. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There, there are some. There's one Jaws movie, this. and then a bunch of movies called Jaws. Yeah. Yeah, overall. Jaws, the Jaws shark ramming a boat is physically possible, but yeah. Do they like myth bust that at some point? Yeah, it's they basically has put a foam rubber head on top on a uh, basically a pipe, a steel pipe that they closed up and weighted to the proper weight and tugged it up to charging shark speed. 
and it basically ripped through the several things that the Jaws shark ripped through. Hmm. However, a normal shark wouldn't actually want to physically do that. Yeah, exactly. It goes against animal instinct. Yeah. They had to prove it was possible. They do. Yes. Oh, no. You just don't get me too started on the Mythbusters. <laughs> I don't think anyone's on their side anymore. I, I sort of gave up on them like three years ago. It, as a scientist, some of the things that they do, or some of the things that they... The, the thing is that they change what they're testing midway through the test. Hmm. Yeah, they very much cease to be a scientific program. Yeah. The myth turns more than the than Adam and Jamie, but it's like no, you have. It's like they've busted some things on semantics alone. Or, mm. Yeah, I've seen that. It's like why? No, just go with what the actual. Don't change the word. Don't do anything else. Just go with this. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Yeah, it turns out science isn't very popular. So once that show got popular, science had to go. Well, one of the things was... One of the final, one of the final straws was... They took a quote from Burnley's. <laughs> and then then totally went well beyond what was originally stated and busted that. <laughs> I'm sure it proved a lot. Yeah, basically... Uh, Accidentally oh. grabbed that picture piece. Uh, basically, the original statement was that you can use yeah, telephone calls as in the car, car panels or car door panels to act as a makeshift uh, or cushion. Yeah. But it only works for uh, handguns and uh, the shotguns and basically bird shots. Yeah. Deer shot, bird shot, shotguns. Well, what? And it was also stated that you can't skimp on the glass. That has to be the actual bulletproof stuff. And what they did was they also required the glass to be bulletproof through the telephone books. They didn't limit it to handguns and shotguns. In fact, they took a anti-tank rifle to it. <laughs> to disprove it. Yeah, basically they stopped the vehicle by putting a bullet through the engine block. Mm. That's at least it's awesome. Like, yes, it's awesome, but the engine block can stop the bullet. What is... <laughs> yeah, it's... That was one of the... That was one of the last drugs. It's like, no. You didn't even take them at, at face value. You just, you just said that it was absolutely bulletproof. Yep, they just wanted to. They clearly just wanted to shoot an anti-tank missile at a car. Oh, it wasn't a missile. It was just like a. Should have been a missile. Yeah. It was like a 50 caliber. Uh, uh, not 50 caliber. It was, it was a sniper rifle. Hmm. An anti-tank sniper rifle. Anti-material rifle, if you put it correctly. Those are things that are actually used against the armor plating of tanks and can go through an uh, inch and a half of steel type of thing. It's like, why? <laughs> Same reason uh, we're playing Splatterhouse, for the violent spectacle of it. Exactly. <laughs> so I support their decision to 
deny science in every way. Oh, you got a uh, territory's head. Oh yeah. I don't know how. I apparently chopped it off without doing a splatter kill, which I didn't know was possible. I've just been ripping apart territories in ways I didn't know that you could do in the last couple oh, of Oh, you were, you were in the Zerk mode. Yeah. Who knows what's going on there. I guess that works, but I mean, I cut off their arm in that earlier video. Yeah. It's just crazy what you can do to territories. I, I wonder how many of the testers are uh, surprised. <laughs> It seems like they're like ideas that they didn't really flesh out, so they didn't tell anyone about, but they left in the game because they weren't actually broken. Yeah, I... I found them by accident. <laughs> I'm sure that's like how half the, um... <laughs> I'm sure how that's how half the fighting, original fighting moves were found. Or when they were in arcades only. Mm. How else do you find the Corset Circle 4 where it's not written? Oh yeah. I've actually wondered how people found out the uh, secret moves in the original Splatterhouse games on the uh, arcade. Yeah. Like uh, the slide kick that you need to do to kill Diggy Man. No clue. I assume it's written somewhere on the uh, machine, but I've never seen one, so... If not, that's isn't. just all your quarters gone. Someone did a Ooh. let's play of the, um, what was it, the uh, Turbo Graphics version of uh, Splatterhouse, the original. Yeah. And uh, Biggie Man actually has much more health in that version. So you're supposed to juggle two shotguns and unload both of them into Biggie Man. That's the only <laughs> way to kill him safely. But this guy didn't do that. He fought him legit, and it was really Ooh. impressive. I recommend everyone who hasn't go to the thread and watch uh, KDJK's playthrough of it because I have a link there. Yeah. really enjoyed that one. That, that would be impressive. Yep. I mean, I just unloaded a shotgun and slide kicked him. Didn't even make a fight out of it. Because I can't. I've never beaten him legit. There's a first time for me. <laughs> Maybe. I'm never playing the original Splatterhouse game again. <laughs> I have no idea. I, I, I would have called you a wimp, but then, but then again, you're playing this game. So. Oh yeah. <laughs> playing way too much of it. Even all these uh, arena videos that no one's gonna watch. But I love them. I love doing these videos. So how many are after this one? There are four DLC arenas. Follow. Wow, okay. And they've got all kinds of weird gimmicks to them. Change things up uh, slightly. So it's not, it's things like Infinite Necro or No Necro or. Nope! Nothing that interesting. <laughs> oh. Much more subtle gimmicks. Alright, alright. After listing those, I started thinking about the uh, Ratchet and Clank. Hmm. Because in, I think from two onwards, each one has an arena of sorts. Um, and a lot of the, and with some of them, there's uh, waves where your health is slowly draining, hmm. or you only have your melee weapon. Well, melee weapons. Yeah. No guns. Hmm. That would have been a cool thing to do with these arenas. Yeah, it's... But it's probably... They just didn't have enough time to do stuff. Yeah, most likely. And for a moment, I thought you were stuck. Yeah, so did I when that first happened. You're not supposed to go back there, but uh, I accidentally did. But that does raise a question. Is that a safe thing? Um, I don't know. You can't really yeah. attack anyone from over there, so it won't really help you, it'll just waste your time. And then you don't get the S rank. True. And this is the final wave, so the uh, last picture piece is somewhere over in this corner, and I'm going to run into it accidentally because this room is so small. I pretty and much grabbed the... all of them by accident. 
Yeah. And the people have already, or oh, creatures have already broken it open. Mm -hmm. Sure have. Yeah, there it is floating over there. Oh, okay. I, I thought the charge would have picked it up. <laughs> no. <laughs> nope. That QT was glitched. Rick was uh, repeatedly grabbing during it. There it is. And there's the achievement for getting every single picture in the game. Ah. Now we're ready to do that bonus review where we look at them all. So there's no pictures in the DLC? Uh, no. There were originally, actually, but um, they oh. were cut. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so they were inaccessible. You won't be seeing those. Yeah, it's just... Yep. It's weird what they left in and what they cut. Yeah, it's very inconsistent. And uh, a lot of it is functional. There's a guy who's trying to uh, restore all of it, but uh, it's a Herculean task because there's just so much of it. You may never finish. Yeah. We're all rooting for him. It sort of reminds me of uh, when uh, some people tried to restore uh, Knights of Gold Republic 2. Hmm. That went on for. And they were almost done, and then it just sort of no part. Yeah, I've seen like uh, Sonic 2, I think it was. Someone was trying to do a really impressive HD remake of, and uh, they only got like two levels in before it proved impossible. Yeah, they were. They had an almost functional build. They had asked for extra beta testers, and then at one point. A version of it leaked. Ah, yeah. And that just sort of killed the momentum. Mm. Well, that was the last kill of the arena. So I'm going to strike a pose in victory here. And Yay. that pose was so awesome that it froze the game. <laughs> uh, does that mean you had to do it again? It means I did do it again. Oh. <laughs> Now look Ooh, at the time. time. Yeah, 1642. Now look at the time. I got credited for 2026. <laughs> oh? Which is the time that I finished the uh, last one in. Uh, which was an A rank. <laughs> Wasn't quite fast enough. So did you have to do it a third time? No, um, it actually logged the uh, 1642 time as my official time. So I do have credit for the S rank. It's just okay. a really weird visual glitch there. And I have a million blood, so I'm buying some upgrades. There was the Gore Factory, which allows you to do attacks after rolling. Good defensive tactic. And I upgrade all the splatter moves, which just increases the uh, area that they affect considerably. So they're going to be hideously destructive. And then a weird combo for Berserker mode, which doesn't really help anything, but it's pretty cool. So, thanks for joining me, Major JF. It's been fun. <laughs> See y'all in the DLC. Bye.